Okay, good morning, everyone. How many of you here are interested in starting a chapter? Raise your hands, please. Oh, yes, we have a few people. Fantastic, thank you. And how many of you uh, have some experience running a chapter? Look at that. My favorite crowd, thank you. <laughs> So whichever camp you're on, you've come to the right place. My name is Jackie Bibliwix. I'm the chair of the ACM SIGGRAPH Professional and Student Chapters Committee. And it is my honor and my pleasure to welcome you here today. Uh, since we're going to be spending a little bit of time together, is it OK if I spend a little bit of time telling you about uh, chapters and how I came to be in this position? Yeah, show of hands. Awesome, thank you. Uh, so like most volunteers I know, I started here as a student volunteer at the conference. And um, I really enjoyed working at the conference, so I decided I wanted to become a team leader. As a team leader, I had the responsibility of um, supervising the what's called the ACM SIGGRAPH Village, which is right by the south lobby door. Uh, and so as you know there, they have, chap they have booths for education, chapters, international resources. Well, international resources used to be there. Now they're out here. Um, but I became uh, friends with the people who were running chapters and were running International Resources Committee. Uh, so at the same time that I uh, was invited to be part of the International Resources Committee, I decided that uh, Toronto, who is one of the five largest markets in computer graphics in North America, should have a chapter because the chapter had kind of died off. So uh, I found some really uh, great volunteers and the five of us together worked really hard to get the chapter up and running. And uh, after three years, the chapters committee saw they, they really liked the, what I was doing with the chapter, and they invited me to uh, become part of the committee, and eventually I became the chair. Um, I really enjoyed chapters because um, back then, before there was a SIGGRAPH Asia, I really had to wait one entire year to get like my SIGGRAPH jolt. Right? I'd come to SIGGRAPH, I'd get so inspired by all the cool work people were doing, and then I'd run away to Toronto and never to see SIGGRAPH again until next year. And, and I found that you know, having a chapter around and seeing what people are doing locally and, and having those connections and those interactions really kept that, that spirit alive throughout the year for me. Um, so it was really exciting to be able to work with the chapter and get to know people, uh, show, show, share in locally what it is that um, our, our local Torontonians are doing. And so that's the opportunity that people who have chapters or participate in their chapters can do. So it's really exciting for us to present this Chapters Fast Forward. For those of you who are looking to start a chapter, it's an opportunity to talk to, as you can see, the room was full of people who are experienced leading a chapter. So it's an opportunity for you to ask the real hard questions, like what's it like? How did you get involved? Um, what do I have to do? Etc. Uh, and for those who are chapter leaders, uh, this is a great opportunity to connect with your other uh, cohorts and see what they've been up to, what kind of cool ideas they've done for their chapter, and in that way, um, experience um, and learn from each other. So it's an exciting thing, and definitely for anybody who is a member of the public who just participates in a chapter or, um, or is simply curious to see what it is that we do in the chapters committee, uh, welcome as well. Yeah, you'll find uh, a lot of information here. You'll find some cool events that you wish that were presented here at the conference. Uh, but unfortunately, some of that is only local. Um, so it will give you an opportunity to see that you know if, if it's something you'd like to bring to your city, definitely chat with us, and um, and we'll get you started. So great. So without further ado, um, let us introduce our first chapter leader from Bowling Green State University. Come on up. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Joshua Droulard. I am, I am the outgoing president of Bowling Green State University's uh, student chapter. And so we'll start off with some background on our chapter. So our, our, we are located in Bowling Green, Ohio, um, pictured on the map right there. You can see we're kind of on the east coast. Um, the year of our chapter's creation was 1993, and to sum up our chapter's mission, um, basically we are a service to the students to help them uh, connect with each other in addition to other digital arts communities across the globe. And the outlet for which we accomplish this mission is through the events that we host throughout the course of the year. 
so here are some posters for some of the events that we posted um, this year. Um, we kind of try to divide them into three different categories. Um, for one, we host workshops that are designed to instruct students on skills that may not be offered in the regular course catalog offered throughout the year. Um, we usually try to bring in a visiting artist or a professional uh, with, who is proficient in that skill um, if we can. Um, additionally, we host events that are like social gatherings. Um, oftentimes there are competitions and things associated with those um, where we might get also get a visiting artist to judge them. Um, this kind of builds the camaraderie amongst the students, connects them with each other, um, and that, that's the, the focus of those events. And finally, we also have events that are focused on um, enhancing the, the career path of these students, um, bringing in somebody who is successful, so oftentimes alumni, um, who has found success in their chosen career path, and typically will, um, they will give portfolio reviews, uh, offer career advice, and kind of talk about their experiences within their chosen profession. So next I'm going to talk about some of the challenges that we have faced as a chapter. In particular, um, our location we found to be a little bit of a challenge because uh, oftentimes, a lot of the artists or um, professionals that we're looking for to bring in, they can be on the West Coast or even ac uh, across the world. And the challenge there is how do, how do we bring them in to the classroom on our uh, student budget? Um, and the solution to that that we use is oftentimes uh, live screen sharing and video chat services. And this kind of allows us to bring in um, anyone from the West Coast or across the world to uh, explain, give them um, uh, share their skill set or their career advice with the students uh, across the world. And for some closing remarks, I want to talk about some of the future things that we have in store for our chapter. Uh, for one, uh, we make an annual trip to the Ottawa International Animation Festival. This is one of the, the trips that we like to make. Um, it's a great networking opportunity um, in addition to uh, getting the students um, exposed to different communities across uh, um, the digital arts world. Um, we also want to increase the amount of student-led workshops that we, we host. This is a new thing that we've started doing. Um, it allows students to, uh, get, or it encourages them to teach themselves some uh, skills that are outside of their regular coursework and, and share them with it with, among their peers. Um, and lastly, uh, increasing uh, field trips to digital arts-related events. This kind of exposes students to uh, the other universities who uh, within, within our local area um, that, ho that are, uh, have proficient, uh, proficient uh, digital arts communities within their area. A lot of times they will host uh, animation screenings specific to their university in addition to um, uh, showing off the technology they have within their university uh, and grad, grad, grad programs. And this exposes students to what their opportunities might be to uh, post their, their bachelor's degree uh, at our university. So thank you so much, and below is our website if you want to find out more about our uh, chapter. Thank you so much. Hello everybody, my name is Kate Gabriel and I'm a chair of the London ACM Seagraph chapter. I've been a chair there for about four years but only this year I managed to come to SIGGRAPH and uh, I would like to tell you more about what we do in London. So our chapter was started in May 2014. To get to know us, we are a non-profit charity. We are comprised of volunteers working in the computer graphics industry in London. We host events for the industry professionals and for the students and we provide opportunity to network and to get new contacts. Before I tell you more about our events, I want to introduce you to our team and also thank them for their hard work that they are putting into our events. So on the left side, it's the officers, starting with myself, then our vice chair, Bobby, uh, our secretary, Jess, and treasurer, Rodrigo. On the right side is our current board, Matt, Joanna, Simone, Sally, Lee, Lea, Brian, Fiona, and Eva. I would also like to mention our funding officers and all the people who helped in the chapter in the past. Maybe some of the names rings a bell. There is Benoit, who was the founder, and AJ, who is becoming next chair of the chapters. So now, about the events. So all our events are free for everyone, because we strongly believe in free sharing of knowledge and ideas. We uh, are having a membership system. If you are a professional, you, you will be paying 20 pounds per year and 15 pounds for the students. As a member, you will get special packs. You will get early access to our, ticket, uh, our, our tickets to the events, and uh, you will never miss an event, even if it's sold out. 
We also provide uh, discounts for other European conferences, and like VIEW in Italy and Splash in Prague. And uh, then we are also having time to time, especially when it's the award season, private screenings for our members. So the types of the events we do. We do keynotes, we do user groups, we do create a series where we're giving uh, opportunity to um, young filmmakers to present on their independent projects. We do monthly events, bring your animation and drink and draw, which uh, you can get feedback on your either animation or your concept art from professional mentors. Then we have Tech Talks, which is our post growth wrap up. And it's a three days conference full of keynotes, full of panel discussions, show floor, technology stands, job fair. Basically, it's like a mini SIGGRAPH in London called Tech Talks. Because we thought it's not enough, we introduced two more events this year. We introduced um, Funny Fail Stories and Animation Summer School, which is a partnership between other, um, other, other, uh, other uh, excuse me, <laughs> between other associations. So I thought because we like to do posters, I would highlight some of the events we did since the last year's SIGGRAPH until uh, the Christmas. So uh, all the events were fully booked and we had people also on the wait list. So we did with Axis Animation, we did with Jellyfish, we did the user group for Random Man, we did uh, us two at the, um, uh, at the Victoria Albert Museum, they're part of the Zen Festival. We did the Character Lab and our special edition of Drink and Draw and Bring Your Animation uh, as a Christmas. Most of the events were sponsored by Fundre and I would like to thank them for that. This year, I would like to highlight um, Create a Series, which we had in February. It's a short film, Terra Nova, which got Visual Effects Award uh, for Outstanding Visual Effects. Then we hosted event uh, with ILM about Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, with BAFTA winning Visual Effects Supervisor David Victory. Uh, then we invited directors from Nexus, Felix Massier, and FX Gobi to present about the Google Spotlight stories and overcoming troubles uh, how to create story in 360, which was very interesting. Then we hosted Drink and Draw at the Mill, and I just want to thank all the VFX houses in London that they are supporting our activity and they are providing us their venues for our events and meetups. And then the Funny Fail Stories. So Funny Fail Stories, it acts as a stand-up comedy show for visual effects artists and animators. And we had no idea what to expect for that because it was the first time we've been launching this event. But when we launched it, we actually, Cartoon Brew wrote an article about this new event coming to London, calling all animators who have no failure a new event in London. So it made us really happy. And I also want to show you some of the pictures from the event so you can see that it has the stand-up comedy show feel, vibe. It was very successful and we already have a list of next speakers for September which brings me into our upcoming events. So the next event we'll have next week is the Animation Summer School, where we partner with uh, Access VFX, Escape Studios, 3 Ame, and We Are Stripes. And we will provide opportunity for children between 11 to 16 years old and their parents to find out more about the visual effects industry and uh, their future career. After that, I would like to mention Tech Talks 2020, which will be uh, next year. But we are launching the marketing campaign around September, so stay tuned for that. It will be a great event, and we are planning to host around 600 attendees per night. So we are also calling for sc sponsors, so please get in touch if you want to find out more. And thank you very much. That would be for me. <laughs> and please follow us on our social media. Uh, great presentation. Thank you. You guys are busy. Um, so uh, my name's Ed Lance, um, and I'm chairing the LA chapter. And uh, a couple of our guys are here. Tim, hey. Um, we um, were uh, chartered in 91, uh, but I'm told that the uh, chapter's actually been active since 78. So we're, um, you know, uh, a lot of old timers. Uh, we're uh, working to bring in fresh blood. Uh, and um, as you might imagine, um, you know, uh, it's, uh, 
LA is a, a hotbed of events. There's a lot of sort of competing events uh, happening here. Uh, I think we've done a great job this past year. Uh, our membership, uh, we've actually um, nearly doubled it, I think, in the last 18 months. Uh, uh, I'm told at one time we had 10 times this number of members, and that's back when SIGGRAPH uh, had uh, 40,000 people instead of whatever it is now. So, so I've watched, and I've been involved in SIGGRAPH since 91, and I've watched the conference peak. Uh, I presented you know, panels and, and, um, and courses, and they would fly you out here, pay for your hotel, all your expenses, everything to present. Uh, so I've watched it shrink, and it's one of the things that motivated me to get back involved, just to give back to the organization that has helped me so much over the years in my career. So um, uh, we're really blessed uh, to have uh, a lot of activity here in uh, computer graphics and interactive technique space. Um, <clears throat> and these are some of the organizations that we've uh, partnered up with in the past year. Um, I'm, I also serve on the board of the Producers Guild. So we got to do some joint events there, and um, uh, we're very tight uh, with VES uh, in town. <clears throat> and um, uh, so that's, uh, that's been very good for us. Uh, we produced nine, actually now 10 events uh, this year um, because uh, we worked uh, with uh, Shenzhen and did the chapter meetup. Uh, so uh, that's number 10. So uh, we had a great one at Google, um, you know, in, in their offices. Um, uh, all the light field stuff that they're doing is incredible. Um, uh, the Hollowgate was cool because we got behind the scenes and, and, and that's a VR attraction. They've sold 300 of those uh, in 27 different countries. Um, and uh, some fun parties in there too, uh, the energy and information. Uh, John Nine, he has this big immersive LED uh, lounge uh, and, and an eight foot diameter gong. I mean, it's, a, it's a pretty cool, the infrasound that comes off that thing is amazing. So, so anyway, we've been, uh, we've been doing good. I want to increase the membership uh, next year as uh, my goal. Um, uh, we, uh, I think, you know, uh, one of the things we're most challenged with, uh, and probably because of a lot of the competition in town, there's so many choices, right, uh, in this space. Uh, so we want to amp up our PR. And we're looking at ways, uh, maybe Facebook, Instagram, you know, that's kind of how it works these days, and, uh, you know, pay a little money. Uh, I think we have like $8,000 in the bank, uh, so you know we can actually seed and and I see the chapters as an on ramp for new members into SIGGRAPH. So this is really important. The chapters are really important for bringing in new people. So I'm always looking at ways to really uh, how do we raise the bar in SIGGRAPH? What's the next big thing? You know what can we bring in? Um, uh, I co-founded the VR Village in 2015 with Denise um, Cornell and. Um, you know, that was an attempt to kind of, come on, you know, let's get with it. This is a new thing happening. We've got to be part of it. Uh, and, um, and I also do immersive domes as my thing. So uh, I would love to have a lecture room uh, where people can present papers on their uh, VR or immersive experiences and fly the audience through it while they're presenting. So anyway, uh, that's us. My name is Ethan Neal, and I'm here to represent Middle Tennessee State University SIGGRAPH student chapter here today. So I'm going to talk a little bit about us and what we've been doing for the past year. So uh, our goal since our founding in 2012 is to provide students with contacts and information that they can use to further kickstart their careers. So we currently have 11 office of positions. And these are highly cyclic, so we cycle through them every once a year because, again, students go in and out depending on how that works. And the newest one we uh, have currently is the outreach coordinator. We got that, developed that, I think, last semester. And we found over the course of our time being in chapter that many, many hands make a light load. So we typically, honestly, will averagely include an extra officer almost every year again to kind of keep things smooth and running. So here's an example. I'm going to get, a, I'm going to go more into detail, in detail on this later. Here's a brief example of the, what we've done over the past few semesters. This is the fall semester. We have quite a few events. We do an event once a week. And then here is spring semester. 
So one of the things we're incredibly proud of is our conference attendance. Um, if you've come to our chapter, basically day one, we will constantly, constantly praise this conference because what it gives students. Um, and the proof is in the pudding because as, ever since our founding, we only had around 2012, we had around eight members. As you can see, we've had 21 and plus rising every single year. Okay, now I'm gonna go into a little bit more specific about our specific detail about our particular events. So these are our networking nights. So our networking nights, what we do is we try to encourage students to talk, converse, and engage one another. Um, our most popular one is our Halloween bowling night. We do that every single year. We encourage students to dress up in their favorite costumes and then come hang out and bowl. We have movie events, and we also have gaming nights, where we either do it at the school itself or we'll go to various arcades locally and uh, just play some old arcade games. It's really fun. Okay, then guest speakers. This is probably our most popular event, just because it gives students insider insight about the industry. So this past few semesters, we had Kerry Kirkpatrick. He was the director on Smallfoot. He came and talked to us. We had Mickey Rose, who is the uh, conference chair this year, come and talk to us about her experiences. She's an alumni from our school. And then we had, again, another SIGGRAPH person, Alex Bryant, come and talk to us as, uh, as well about media and various other things. Okay, and then one of the, the lifeblood of our chapter is our workshops. So this one's more of a fun one. Um, we pulled this from the weirdest place. It's from a YouTube channel called Drawfee. But basically what we do is we present students with a silhouette of a Pokemon or some character, and then they have to draw what they think it is. And then afterward, we'll share it on our social media. What this does, this first off is really good for principal's animation, one of which, one of which is the, uh, is the silhouette of drawing a good, decent character. It helps with that, with their uh, skills. But it also gives us a fun thing to do. There have been some beautiful abominations that have come from this. Okay, so being a chapter that's been around rather, rather recently, uh, we have a few challenges. One of the challenges is space. So we are not the largest school, but we've had an incredible increase of students coming in. So when we first started, we had around less than 80 students back in 2012. Now we have 250 students. And when I was vice president of the chapter, we would have some 75 to 85 students come in every night for our events. So we ran out of space quickly. Um, there's a lot of events that feature using, utilizing uh, software. Well, it's really hard to fit 85 students into a room that only has 24 computers. So we had to resolve that issue. So one of what we did is we had many signups. So we could have many lectures. So we could have like 20 students at a time cycle through, so therefore they can continue to learn but not feel so pressured. Another solution we had was we also um, featured events that don't require software, but still allow students to learn. So we would have uh, figure drawing nights or character design nights. So students are still learning, but we don't have to require software. And we can fit them in various different rooms as opposed to just our media labs. Okay. And then another challenge we had was diversity in the knowledge that students wanted. Simply put, we have a very diverse group of students that come in. We have freshmen, we have seniors. But we found over the course of our existence that those two groups have different needs. Typically, people who are newer to the program want to have fun or just kind of learn more general, like, they don't have the skill set to kind of learn about the more particular things about the, the industry and workforce. So what we did is we staggered meetings. So one time night we might have a more fun meeting about general concepts. The other night we might have more specific things about, okay, how do we particularly texture in uh, ZBrush or something like that extent. So what we did, um, and there's really not a good way to solve this, so we can, the best way we found is kind of bite the bullet and stagger meetings. And that's the solutions. And again, this is our uh, chapter. And if you have any more questions, feel free to contact me or Kevin McNulty. And we are here to uh, help you guys and show us what we know. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm David with the New York chapter. So if you want to learn more about us, I would defer you to last year's presentation, because this year we're just going to talk about the new year and new us. So it's basically our member, Sans Patty, who I couldn't find a picture. Uh, but all these pictures were also taken at our events. We have fun. So this year we decided to update our branding, actually changing something we had since who knows when to uh, something brand new. And with that, we also updated our website to use WordPress, which will give us a lot more flexibility in the future. And I'm hoping to like, put some plugins in there so we can automate more processes. So this year we found a new partner with Woman Animation New York Chapter. We were able to successfully host three events with them. As you can see, we have 
Age of Sailing, Crow, The Legend, and Making of Pearl. And in particular, in Age of Sailing, we actually had a secret guest uh, come in and with uh, Glenn Keane showed up at the event. We also began to share events from more organizations through our, our, our social media channels, which uh, has increased over the last year. And this year, we've also did a slight upgrade to our, uh, and our monthly event, BYOA. So this year, we actually moved to a brand new venue with better television and bigger room for our members. So now we have a more, a more intimate space uh, for everyone. Part of BYOA is that we also bring guest speakers. So in addition to having all, all the guests come in and do a presentation, we bring actual studios to come in and show some of the work they've been doing in the past month. And it's probably been really successful and driven up the numbers of presenters. But we still keep all our old standbys. So annually, we do three events, um, MetroCAF, Computer Animation Electronic Festival, and oh, I'm sorry, it's Electronic Theater now, and uh, Industry Spotlight. I'd like to thank Mickey Rose for coming and presenting the Computer Animation Festival. And for the next, next year, we're hoping to keep doing BYOA. So this will start in September. And we are also going to be showcasing a MetroCraft 2019, which uh, is really bad on the screen. I'm not sure what happened to the poster. Um, yeah, and that's us. Thank you. Okay, uh, my name is Teresa Flaxman. I am the chair of the San Francisco VCM SIGRA. And uh, uh, San Francisco has had uh, a chapter for many, many years, probably from the 80s. Uh, the problem with San Francisco is that um, people are really very busy and they come and go very often. And um, so the chapter has been up and down like many times. And um, I moved to San Francisco in 2012. And when I got to San Francisco, uh, there was no chapter, you know? And uh, I've been coming to SIGGRAPH since the 90s. And uh, so in 2012, when I got to San Francisco, there was no chapters. I, I contacted Scott Owen at the time, who was the chair. And uh, he said that they had a chapter previously, but the, the leader had left and they didn't find a replacement. So then I, I revived the chapter again, start from the scratch. And unfortunately, like, you know, when the chapter goes down, they don't pass like the material to someone else. So I had to start uh, the chapter from scratch. Um, and uh, so we've been now uh, up for uh, eight years or seven years since 2012. And, um, you know, um, our, our mission is uh, it's to bring the best in computer graphics to our San Francisco uh, computer graphics communi uh, community. Uh, a lot of people from San Francisco come to SIGGRAPH, but uh, there's a lot of people who don't come to SIGGRAPH. So like Jack said, you know, we come here, we see all this inspiring and nice stuff, and then we get to our communities, and uh, we just have to wait one more year. So th that was my, my motivation for starting the chapter. It's to continue with SIGGRAPH over uh, the year, so we always have uh, interesting things to see, something interesting to learn. Um, our volunteers, uh, for the first, well, for, not for the first time, but for since a long time, now we have um, our full team uh, covered for the chapter. Uh, we have Barbara Helfer, she's the social media and the treasurer. Raquel Rabbit, uh, she's the vice chair. 
uh, Angie Wong, she, he's the secretary, and myself, who is the chair. Uh, non those are the electors. Non-elected, we have uh, membership coordinator, Angela. We had, uh, there's a problem here, mistype, but it's Barbara Labanta. She's the graphic designer for our chapter, and Henry Labanta, that he's the RPR. Henry is really good because he has a very good uh, connection with the industry, so he can uh, bring good speakers for us. We just did a new logo. We are rebranding, so uh, this is going to be our new logo. Um, our events, um, we, you know, over the years we've changed a lot. Each year is different, the events that we do. We do. Uh, in the past, we've done uh, student work reviews, we've done um, um, workshops, we've done, uh, um, you know, a lot of VR, we've done a lot of VR presentation. Uh, so this year we did, um, we were doing also in the past, we were doing like one, one event a month. But that got like very, very challenging uh, because we, we are a small group and, and to organize these events take a lot of time. And also because we are in San Francisco, which um, has some advantages and some disadvantages. Uh, our biggest challenge in San Francisco is to find venues. Uh, you know, there's too many things going on every night in San Francisco, and to find venues, it's very hard. You need to book the venues like three months in advance, you know? And a lot of times we don't get the commitments of the speakers three months in advance. So uh, that's our biggest challenge, is to find venues in San Francisco. But uh, we managed to have four, four uh, good events. We had uh, uh, somebody who, who came and gave us a presentation about the cinema, cinematography of The Incredibles 2. We had the uh, cafe screening. We had uh, behind the scenes the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. And then in June, we had Argumental Reality. And here is uh, when we had the cinematography of uh, Incredibles 2, we had 250 attendees, and uh, I had to do at the Berkeley Community College because I couldn't find a venue that would fit that amount of people. And Eric came and uh, gave um, a good presentation for us at the, the community college there. Uh, then we had the cafe screenings. Uh, we did also uh, at the, the Community College of Berkeley, and uh, we had 104 attendees. Uh, then we had uh, the swing behind the scenes of the Spider-Man. Uh, fortunately, the ILM theater was available, and they let us use their, their theater, and uh, we had 329 people in, in in that event. Uh, then uh, in June, we had the augmented reality with John Patty. John Patty, he's a, he's a pioneer in augmented reality. He's been doing this since the 80s. And uh, he just uh, wrote a book about it. <clears throat> well, he, ha he has several books, but he just uh, published a book like uh, very recently. And he went there and gave a talk, and that talk was at the Autodesk Theater. And um, so we had 120 people there. So our upcoming event now that, uh, uh, you know, this event here should have had should have had happened in uh, in June in June, but uh, at the last minute the speaker had to to go to France for a work for a job there, and so we couldn't do it. So we move it to um, to November. So he's coming back in November, and uh, he, uh, we are hoping to get the uh, ILM theater. And um, 
so um, so it's going to be the 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 Game of the Thrones uh, sec, uh, session eight uh, VFX supervisor. So that is going to be a big event too. So we're hoping that ILM let us do it there. And that's it. So. Okay, so any questions, you can ask me. Yeah, hello everyone. Um, my name's uh, uh, Rick Shi uh, from Shenzhen Chapter. Um, yeah, thank you. So Shenzhen Chapter was founded in uh, 2014. So we have uh, 50 uh, professional members and two uh, student members. Um, so here, is, here are our important, mem uh, important officers for our chapter. Uh, we have uh, new vice chair, uh, Jello Wang. Um, you, you guys might uh, meet him uh, in the John uh, meeting. Okay, um, right now our WeChat channel in China uh, is around 1,000 followers. Uh, I think it would be good for like a professional uh, feel in CG uh, in China. Um, so last year we have a bunch of uh, uh, events. Uh, so right now uh, we're going to introduce uh, several uh, important events uh, that we uh, successfully held in Shenzhen. So the first one is uh, we are promoting, we were promoting uh, Cigraph Asia in Shenzhen. Uh, we invited uh, Ken Andrew the chair of uh, Asia 2018. And um, we also invited uh, people from uh, NX Square to uh, talk about the uh, AI in game, and also uh, some local uh, developers. Uh, so we have uh, the whole day uh, event. Uh, in the morning, we have uh, uh, a calf, uh, tra uh, calf traveling uh, uh, screening, uh, and then we have the workshop. And the sec um, second one is we have uh, on-site Seagraph Asia Tokyo uh, event in Japan uh, with uh, uh, Japanese uh, industry and education uh, uh, professionals and, uh, and the scholars uh, and partner with some Chinese uh, Shenzhen local uh, corporations. We uh, together with uh, had a really um, interesting uh, topic about uh, how the industry going in Shenzhen and Japan, how people uh, study and getting their job in each uh, community. And the third one is uh, CAF screening in Shenzhen uh, of uh, SIGGRAPH uh, 2018. Uh, we work with a local company called Fox Run the Farm, and um, uh, we host uh, everything. Uh, we rent a, a cinema. Uh, this is a real cinema uh, in, in, in Shenzhen. And um, this it comes really good. Uh, right now, it will be the, like a, a very constant uh, event in, in Shenzhen. Um, another one is uh, we also uh, partner with uh, China CHI. Uh, and um, we also uh, we work with them and invited uh, host uh, Yostem to, uh, to Shenzhen. And we have a very, um, a very, uh, it's like uh, we met Joe Stem uh, again, so lots of people is like a meeting old friends. So we have a really nice uh, meeting and talk about, uh, very technical actually at, that, uh, at this event. We have uh, something like a facial recognition technology sh uh, sharing and uh, Joe Stem uh, sharing some, you know, fancy uh, equations uh, in the event and also, uh, uh, a scientist from Huawei, uh, he uh, gives a really nice talk about uh, interaction uh, technologies. And also we partner with uh, the, the third Chinese uh, biggest uh, film festival, uh, China Short Film Festival. Uh, together we have a VR Frontier uh, event. We invited uh, people from Pixar and uh, uh, the former uh, Artists, uh, engineer from uh, weather and uh, the third floor, uh, they come together uh, and we have a really uh, large uh, event in, 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 in Shenzhen University. Okay, uh, our goal, um, 
we are looking for uh, have uh, more student uh, members to come to uh, our our uh, chapter. Uh, this year, we successfully help uh, a student to become a, a student volunteer in SIGGRAPH. So uh, I think we can bring back uh, some more successful experience and help more students to you know uh, connect to the to the world. And um, the, in, um, we talk about uh, something challenge uh, in, in Shenzhen. I think uh, it's about the 991 uh, working schedule for everyone. So right now, uh, the professionals are working really hard from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and six days a week. So uh, <laughs> the solution is we put our events into a uh, company, so uh, they have more uh, staffing to to come to our, uh, our activities. Uh, yeah. So uh, we're looking forward to see you again in next year. Uh, in chapters fast uh, for thank you John Carrick, and I'm with the uh, Silicon Valley chapter. So um, uh, Silicon Valley chapter meets in the Silicon Valley, and we're just a little bit south, south of San Francisco. And um, actually, the, Bay, the San Francisco Bay Area is actually home of uh, two, uh, cigra two ACM SIGGRAPH chapters. Uh, so and chapter activity in the, our area started in uh, 1982 was uh, Bring Your Own Tape Event. And we've been going strong ever since. And uh, in the Silicon Valley, uh, our chapter is mainly focused on like the technology and computer graphics. And we try to have a meeting uh, once a month on different topics, and we invite a speaker to our meeting once a month. And uh, so these are the, our officers for this year. So uh, if you, most of us are uh, here at SIGGRAPH, so if you see us around, please come by and say hi and talk to us. And uh, we'll also be at the chapter booth later. So, um, uh, so our chapter uh, is focused on like technology, but we actually try to cover uh, like a wide gamut of computer gra graphics, and we try to have uh, many. We try to actually have many different topics in the chapter, and so uh, these are the meetings we've had this year. We've had uh, eight meetings on different topics. We had uh, two meetings on uh, the latest hardware technology. Uh, we had a couple of presentations of academic research from local universities, and uh, we had some uh, talks on production of uh, movies and. Um, of movies and VR production. And so now I'd like to like highlight some of our best events. So uh, one of uh, my favorite events was a presentation on the Magic Leap, which was presented by John Weiss Bouquet. Uh, so he presented, he talked about uh, the, uh, the computer vision in the Magic Leap. He was in, he's actually the head of computer vision at Magic Leap. And uh, he told us like about like, how all the magic worked. But not only did he tell tell us about like um, how um, how 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 the uh, computer vision works today, but he also told us about the history of the development, so we could see how they got where they where they are today and all the all the steps they needed to go through. And one of the really one of the main one one of the great parts about this presentation was we actually got to try out Magic Leap and everyone got to demo it. And this. This presentation actually occurred a few months after Magic Leap went public with their uh, hardware. So it was, most people haven't seen it yet, and it was, the, it was, it was people's, uh, most people's first time in seeing a Magic Leap. And so I think this event shows you uh, some of the benefits of being a chapter uh, member, because um, if you were at SIGGRAPH in Vancouver in 2018, there weren't any Magic Leaps there. but. Um, so uh, if you if you don't go to if you just attend the SIGGRAPH conference and don't attend ch uh, chapter events, you know you might have to wait a whole year before you, you can see some exciting technology like the Magic Leap. But uh, since at the chapter level we have a meeting, we try to have a meeting once a month, so we, we can like present some technologies a lot sooner than you know what, if you then just if you just go to the conference. And uh, we also like we also had uh, with. Uh, Cinematography of Incredible Stew, just like San Francisco, and it was also presented by Eric Smith. And uh, personally, I really 
well, like when we have these uh, animation com companies come talk about animation, I really these are meetings I really enjoy because um, in my personal life, I'm a work as a software engineer, and there's nothing you know artistic about my work. My work's just purely technical, so this helps me appreciate like the computer, the artistic side of computer graphics. And this talk, I particularly remember that Eric talked about like the lighting in The Incredibles 2, and about here he talked about like different films that he referenced in like creating the lighting and how these how these lighters like maybe feel how bit maybe people feel and so forth. And so this made me realize that wow, these movies such as Incredibles 2 isn't just like a fun movie. It's like there's a lot of artistry that goes into these movies. So for me, being a chapter member, you know, it helped me really appreciate the movies that we all. Um, okay. We all love it. Uh, you know, it helped me. Um, you know, it helped me see these movies that are really the, as the they're really artistic endeavors. So, uh, sorry, I, that's all the events I can talk about. But if you want to know more about our events, please look at our website or our meetup. And uh, so, I've been involved with SIGGRAPH since 1993. I've been coming to the SIGGRAPH uh, conference. And for me, SIGGRAPH has, has always been a great event, and I always enjoyed it. But when the, the SIGGRAPH conference comes to an end, I always feel a little bit sad because one of my favorite events is uh, coming to an end. Um, but, I, but one day I realized that um, you know, the end of the SIGGRAPH conference isn't the end of the experience because um, at the, uh, when, when I get back to the Silicon Valley, the other officers and I, we're going to start planning events for this year. And you know, it's going to be a chance to um, to, you know, to see events that we haven't had a chance to see, and also some, um, and also, yeah. So um, when SIGGRAPH ends this Thursday, I hope you can uh, con consider um, continuing continue, continue your experience, your SIGGRAPH experience with us in the Silicon Valley. And uh, we're also looking for volunteers, because that's, uh, it's, uh, you know, being a volunteer is a great way to decide what, what happens at the events, and also it's good for networking. And uh, we have an event on self-driving cars, which is coming in September. So if you happen to be in the Silicon Valley, please come by and visit us. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Harun, and this is my uh, first time um, attending the SIGGRAPH. Um, I'm a recent member of uh, Singapore ACM SIGGRAPH. And um, just a little bit of introduction about the, about the chapter. It's uh, established in uh, 4th March 1998. Uh, it's a local group of volunteers of uh, ACM SIGGRAPH. And um, they have uh, hosted the SIGGRAPH Asia twice in 2008 and 2012. Uh, at the moment, there are eight people in the management committee. Um, so uh, the main objectives are um, similar to um, the, all of the other um, chapters as well, like uh, supporting activities for ACMC graph in Singapore and promoting knowledge and interest in uh, aspects of computer graphics and vision, and also uh, connecting people uh, from academia and uh, local industry. Um, so at the moment, uh, what I've seen uh, in the Singapore chapter, they are facing quite a few of challenges, uh, which includes uh, scaling the number of members and volunteers. Uh, also, the support from uh, Singapore government is a, uh, is limited, um, and the main reason is the relocation of the key volunteers and the companies that used to uh, support the chapter. So, and hence, it's a limited uh, CG related events and activities happening in Singapore. Um, so, for the last year, uh, so for the current year, it's um, we had a small uh, social event gathering. Uh, still, a few people uh, that have joined uh, joined us uh, in this uh, activity. Uh, as you can see over here, the membership it used to be um, uh, quite up and down, but in the past uh, two to three years, it's going to be um, constant, and we have at the moment like ten to eleven members. Um, but um, this, the, 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 the solution that I've discussed with the, with the chair and, uh, uh, and, the, and the, the management committee is to, um, is to actually um, create and uh, partner the potential uh, academic institutions and companies within Singapore. We have uh, quite uh, a lot of potential. There are um, a lot of companies like uh, Ubisoft, Disney, 
Uh, there are a lot of uh, the uh, top academic institutes like NUS, uh, NTU, so uh, we would be uh, reaching them out for the upcoming year uh, so that we can um, increase our number of members and increase the number of events. Um, and also encouraging uh, researchers uh, within the university to submit the briefs and technical papers. And also to, um, we have actually started uh, working with the, with the government to increase the support for the chapter, like uh, arranging the venues and fundings. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Gillian Chenet, uh, the chair of the Toronto ACM SIGGRAPH professional chapter. This year, we've held a variety of events to actually tackle different aspects of our mission as a SIGGRAPH chapter. First up, as a SIGGRAPH chapter, we want to let the local community have access to some of the later, like latest uh, technology, be, be able to try something cool, something new. So what we did is we partnered with a local production organization called Charles Street Video and also with the co-founder of the Metal plugin for uh, Adobe um, After Effects and Premiere. And we did a weekend long workshop on the 360 video uh, production. So that means during that, during that, uh, wow, I'm really having a hard time. Anyways, uh, during that weekend, we went from shooting, uh, shooting footage all the way to, oh, thank you, uh, maybe later. <laughs> so, yeah, so we went from shooting footage all the way to editing. That means like uh, both uh, video and sound all the way. Uh, the attendees were able to use uh, some of the latest hardware uh, that was uh, just donated for the events. And we also got access to instructors with the skills we needed because we were able to talk with one of the co-founders of the plugins. Then we also turned our attention towards uh, students. So we partnered with the University of Toronto Computer Graphics Club to host a few events with them. One of them is we used our SIGGRAPH contacts to make sure that we got some local professionals in different fields that are computer graphics related so to give the students uh, different ideas of what they can do that still falls under the SIGGRAPH umbrella. We also ran for the second year a student volunteer info session. And I've left you a little hint there if you can guess who was the speaker. So what we see with the student volunteer info session is there's actually, there's actually quite a few students who come to that. A lot of them hadn't heard about this. Like we, we have a, probably like at least six schools that should be interested in this and the only ones that really know anything about it are maybe University of Toronto and it's only in their uh, graduate program. So we'd really like to know uh, if we could find out the numbers of how many Toronto SVs have started showing up at uh, the conference uh, over the last two years since we started this. And maybe in a few years, we'll even beat Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a way we as a chapter can help our local community and also bring an impact to the conference itself. Now, what about bringing a bit of the conference home? So like a lot of you, we brought back the uh, Computer Animation Festival from 2018. But then I found out that one of the pieces was actually from a local artist. So in order to celebrate his achievements, to kind of show to Torontonians, hey, things that get made in Toronto get seen around the world. We invited the artist to actually be part of the screening and to be able to network, talk with the others, and yeah. So what's next for us? So we have a lot of untapped potential. Like we've only started working with one of the schools. There's plenty more. We just need to find a way that we can do it in a scalable way so that we're not just volunteers running around town like crazy and not even able to do our day jobs at the same time. I think we should keep doing more of these workshops just like the 360 video ones. 
uh, do anything like info sessions, workshops, anything like that that lets people know here's some of the, of the latest and greatest stuff you might want to uh, learn about it, and we as SIGGRAPH want to make it accessible to you. We also want to be able to measure the impact, know what is it we're achieving as a chapter, both with SIGGRAPH and with other organizations. So let's figure out what kind of metrics, for example, how many student volunteers have started showing up from Toronto, how many are applying, um, how many people did we maybe facilitate uh, submitting uh, content to SIGGRAPH, for example. And yeah, we want to know also what kind of other content from SIGGRAPH we can bring back home, uh, aside from just the CAF. But more importantly, we want to help bring more Toronto to SIGGRAPH. Thank you. I'm Jacob. I'm from Denmark, and I'm here to talk about the Vibor ACM SIGGRAPH professional chapter. Now, first of all, I'd like to see how many have actually been to Denmark. Hands up. Okay, next year I hope to see more hands. <laughs> but just to make it perfectly clear, Denmark is not the capital of Sweden. It seems to be <laughs> a widespread misconception that that we're the capital of Sweden. We're not. We're actually an independent nation. We actually used to rule Scandinavia. We used to own it all. But apparently, due to some poor decision making over the last thousand years, we've shrunk to the current size you see marked in red. But that means that we need to, to expand ourselves into networks. And uh, we are so pleased that uh, we are now officially a part of SIGGRAPH. Um, right. So, we were founded a week ago. Uh, that means that we're pretty, I'm pretty new to this uh, chapter chair position. Um, we've been building our community since 2017 when I first uh, participated at SIGGRAPH here in LA. Um, and now I'm proud to say that we have 11 board members on the team. Um, we have uh, 34 active community members. And it's because we have been able to um, merge ourselves with uh, our um, science visualization community in Viborg. <coughs> I represent also a uh, national center for animation, visualization, and digital storytelling. Um, and that means that we are able to serve the entire animation industry in Denmark and education as well. And um, we work together with uh, public and private and NGO uh, structures, uh, which gives us a great leverage and uh, much outreach. We're based at the Animation Workshop um, in Viborg. It's the central region of Denmark. It's not the capital of Denmark, <laughs> but it's located in the peninsula attached to Germany. Um, more on the geography later, perhaps, um, if you come to talk with me. We get national support uh, to do our things. Uh, we also have local support uh, due to Viborg municipality, which is great. Uh, they've adapted uh, animation into their uh, municipal strategy, uh, into their departments. So it gives us great local um, activity and uh, awareness. Now, um, the board consists of uh, artists and professionals and uh, academics from uh, the entire uh, Denmark um, in different partners and universities, which is great. Uh, we want to bring special attention to one of our strategic activities, which is the science visualization. And that's for our uh, SIGGRAPH chapter activities of 2019. Um, we focus on the community, uh, different cases that we want to uh, highlight, uh, collaborations between visual storytellers and uh, researchers. And then we uh, disseminate through uh, a conference. Um, so for the coming year, we, uh, in the last week of September, have our annual Viborg Animation Festival, and um, we have a science visualization conference where most of our things will, uh, will take place um, from this uh, science uh, visualization community. We will host uh, three industry panels, uh, sessions where we try to bridge the gap between uh, research centers and uh, universities with uh, the artists that we have uh, around in our community. Uh, and then we will uh, have a uh, exhibition on tour in collaboration with the National Museum of uh, Denmark. Um, 
in a project I will, I will tell you a little bit about. Um, our focus uh, for the science visualization is prospection, so how imagination creates uh, reality. And uh, we have um, a, a project that uh, is sort of the foundation of, of many of our uh, sessions. It's called uh, New People. And uh, New People is a poetic storytelling of, um, of a visionary shaman in Greenland who imagined uh, people on the other side of the, uh, of the waters. And he went with his tribe and he found them. Uh, so um, we have uh, collaborated with, together with an Italian artist to make this uh, uh, visual poem uh, that we will take on tour. It's a collaboration between the National Museum uh, of Denmark, uh, the Human Genome Project, and um, also the University of Greenland. So we're very proud of this project, and we hope to, that you will see it around um, later on. Now, um, to end my talk, um, I want to see that uh, I hope that we can uh, talk more during SIGGRAPH. I'm very happy to be able to be part of this community. And I think it's, uh, it's important that we bring SIGGRAPH to Denmark and Scandinavia. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm the chapter's chair of Montreal ACM CGRAPH, which we refounded this year. Um, basically, the chapter has been existing since 20, uh, 2002, and we decided to reboot it in 2018. Um, here we have Benoit, who's right here, uh, who's no, or a new board member. We have Marie-Soleil Chabot as treasurer, Sheldon Andrews, our secretary, um, Caroline Bain, our vice, pres vice president, and myself, Miriam Beauvais, who's chair. Um, this is our short story, because we've just rebooted. Um, we've realized that there was a strong chapter in activity in 2015, and uh, then we, we decided um, in 2017 that we would be really interested in rebooting it. Uh, so we've teamed up in mid-2017, seven, and um, we've been working on administrative task for a year. <laughs> it's been very, very long to um, to get because in Quebec we need to have um, we need to be registered as a company. So uh, we were actually taking over the company that already existed from the previous Montreal chapter, and uh, all the administrative tasks has been very intense, but. Uh, we got there, and um, we got the company at the end of August uh, 2018, and we've been charted in November 2018, and two days later, we launched. Our vision is to, give, uh, is to have a chapter that's extremely accessible. We're not aiming for uh, expensive events and either expensive conferences. We want to be able to uh, create an opportunity for everyone to gather and be together. Montreal has a huge community and industry. Um, we have a big industry in video games. We have a big industry in VFX. Smaller in animation, but still very active. Uh, a lot of software engineering uh, companies working on computer graphics. So uh, we want to bring all of these people together. and we. And in Montreal, there's already a lot of meetups and activities. So um, to compete with them, because everybody's just have limited time, we want to make it free or cheap for all of the events. Um, we are not aiming for a lot of memberships. Uh, we're more sp sponsorship based for the exact same reasons, but we still have a good platform for memberships. And we're also trying to get more um, incentive to, get, to become a member. Um, so these are the events that we organized in the past years. Um, we organized two CG Spotlight, which is a series of events uh, of three to four talks um, at each event. We have uh, free beers and uh, free drinks. We also have non-alcoholic beverages uh, that are free. And um, so we presented talks from, uh, like one was a, a production session that was presented here at SIGGRAPH in 2018 on Blade Runner. Um, we also had talks from Mikros on the making of Asterix, their film. 
Uh, we have talks from different companies there, and we also try to have one talk from um, academia, so to encourage students who are making research in this. We presented CA the CAF, and we also started a series of events that we call the RGBA mixer, which is just a, a informal mixer to get people around. Uh, but we're also trying to put a little touch in it and to make lighting talks at the beginning. So we, uh, we allow anyone who is interested to, pre to present a five minutes talk to come. Um, so they can just send us what they want to talk about, their slides, and we put it together. And then they can present it at the beginning of the event. Um, <clears throat> so this is our numbers. CG Spotlight, number one, sold out at 350 people, and we had 200 attendees. Um, we, and basically, we, um, we, we now have with every, everyone who registered to our events over 600 people involved in the chapter in a way or another. Um, we had a lot of different challenges throughout the year. Uh, I think one of the biggest one right now is the amount of no-shows we have at free events, but we still, we still have a lot of people showing up as well. So. Uh, I think we have a good traction, but this is like the main one that we'll have to to work on. And um, yeah, most of them are pretty much solved apart from that. We have a lot of projects coming up. Um, we're really excited about it. A lot of collaborations. Uh, this next year is going to be very busy for us. Um, so yeah, um, you can all stay tuned with everything that's going on on our side to this slide. Uh, this is our, our handles. And we also have a really nice new Instagram account on which we post a lot of different things that's going on in our events. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. And thank you, all of our chapter leaders who uh, have shared their information with us. That concludes our presentations. Um, so. Let's give a round of applause for our chapter leaders who work so hard all year round. Uh, so now we move to our section for starting a chapter. So are there any people here who are still interested in starting a chapter? Great. Uh, so we can do it two ways. We can uh, have an informal chat, or you can ask questions right now, whichever one you choose. Um, you're not? OK. Um, also, uh, I guess uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, my term as chapter chair ends in September. Uh, unfortunately, the next chair, AJ, he's also posters chair this year. He's probably busy with uh, some conference uh, engagements. Uh, but so he will be the person in the front of the room next year. Uh, and so all I have to say is thank you for allowing me to serve. It's been a lot of fun working with all of you. Uh, I'll probably still be involved with the committee, just not as chair. Uh, so you expect to hear from me some more. And uh, thank you very much for coming today. Rick, 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 Rick. Yeah, come here. So, so we're not doing it? Okay, great. Okay, we, I thought I had a surprise for you, but it didn't pan out. <laughs> okay, so if you're interested in starting a chapter, come mingle with us. We're here to answer all your questions. Obviously, you have a room full of experts on how to run a chapter. So uh, if any of the presentations spoke to you and you want to speak directly to that person, great. If you want to speak directly to me, more than happy to help. And um, that concludes our session. Thank you very much.